Hi folks, Thomas Henson here with thomashenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today's question comes in from a user and it's around data science and Tableau and kind of how those go together. But before we jump into the question, if you have a question that you want to know about data engineering, IT, data science, anything you know related to IT or just want to throw a question at me, put it in the comment section here below or reach out to me on Twitter at hashtag big data, big questions or thomashenson.com forward slash big questions. Ton of ways to get your questions here answered right on this show. All you have to do is type away and ask. So now let's jump into today's question. So today's question comes in from a YouTube viewer and it's about, hey, in data science, do you use Tableau, right? So you can see the question here as it pertains to this. And so this is kind of a question, you know, we started doing, started out this show doing around data engineering, but now we're really jumping towards, hey, what's going on from a data science and just kind of encompassing all of it. So Today's question, we're going to talk about, hey, you know, where's Tableau used, right? A lot of people use Tableau. It's really, really popular. But is that really a tool that a data scientist is going to use? Like, should you invest your time as a data engineer or a data scientist aspiring or not aspiring to get into data science, right? Like, should you spend time learning about that tool? So my thoughts on Tableau are that it's really good for giving information out to users that you know could be not necessarily data scientists, right? They could be users of it. They could be analysts. They could be somebody who just has a stake in their business. I've used it at a lot of different um, corporations that I've worked at and companies and organizations. And really what I see is those tools are more for the end user for visualization. So they may fall more in the um, data visualization bucket, right? So we've talked about the three tiers of work. So you have your data scientist, you have your data engineer and your data visualization specialist, right? The person who's doing, you know, making sure that, hey, at the end of the day, it's great that we have all these, uh, all these algorithms that are showing us and being able to predict whatever we're trying to look at in our data. But if we can't sell that and can't convey that to the people that need the data to make a decision on, then it's kind of just an experiment. It's just us having fun, right? Doing research, right? So, you know, when it comes to an end product or being able to really sell your point, data visualization. I think that's the bucket that Tableau fits in more than just traditional data science. Could be wrong. Let me know if I am here in the comment section below, but let me kind of talk a little bit about my use case and where I've seen it. So like I said, I've used it in a lot of different um, organizations that I've worked with or even contracted with. And so one of the main use cases, I'll, I'll give you an example. Let's say that you're a YouTube viewer, right? I'm not saying YouTube uses Tableau. This is just an example because I don't want to give away too much information. Insider. So if you have a uh, YouTube channel, so think about if you want to see the videos that are coming in, right? So you're a user, you're a publisher, a creator, you want to know, all right, here is, you know, the, all the videos that you have, here's how long they were watched, here's all the demographics from behind the scenes that you can pull, maybe the times that they were watched, um, you know, the, how long they were watched, right? So like, like on this video here, like if people drop out after 30 seconds, I don't, I, I I did something wrong there, right? <laughs> Versus, you know, how many people go through go through the end of it. So same thing too. So what you would do is, you know, you, you would have all this information and aggregate all this data and you maybe even pull some insights, right? Like, hey, what's, you know, what's your average? And you know, we can do some real simple things or you can do some complex things too, right? But Tableau is where you're going to give the end user the access. At least what I've seen, seen a lot. So there's a big need, right, to be able to do that and be able to pull that data. And it gives you a way to, I wouldn't say that a data scientist wouldn't per se use that as their tool. It wouldn't be their only tool. Maybe that's the way that they aggregate and look at large amounts of data before they kind of go in and start to pick and choose. And I'm sure there's some modules out there that are incorporating machine learning and deep learning. But I will say, if you're really looking for an AI perspective to jump into, it's not just going to be about Tableau. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get you know up to speed on Tableau, but I wouldn't say that, hey, I'm a brand new person graduating high school, graduating college, or you know somebody that's seasoned in their career and looking to go into data science, my choice would not be to jump in and learn Tableau, right? I would start learning a little bit more about Python and algorithms and maybe R or some of the, some, some of the other like higher level languages to talk around machine learning and deep learning versus saying, hey, this is the tool that's gonna kind of take me there. Now, if you're a data visualization person or you want to get into big data from that perspective, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things that you can, can use Tableau to do. So you might add it to your bucket. But you know, as far as you know, we talk about on this show, you know, how, to, you know, how to accelerate your career or how to break into the big data realm, this is not one of those tools that I'm gonna say, hey, this is, if this is, you know, if this is the only choice you have, um, 
not really going to be the one that's probably going to going to make the most sense, right? Like it's not going to be the game changer. Like, hey, this person's Tableau, you know, certified in Tableau or, you know, is, is a Tableau wizard. Now, if you're applying for a job, right, that's, you know, all around Tableau, then then definitely. But as far as like, hey, I, want, I really want to get down into data science and I really want to get deep in it. Um, Tableau is one of those things. Definitely, definitely probably, you know, probably going to use or come across tools that are similar to that. But it's not going to be your mainstay, probably where you're writing your algorithms and doing uh, your analytics. So, so that's all for today. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section here below. And then make sure you click subscribe to follow this channel so that you never miss an episode of Big Data, Big Questions.